And it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And this is a big bottle of previously mixed black paint from Artist, Artist Loft. And as much as I would like to experiment with that, I really don't have a ton of time. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that with my OXO omelette turning spatula, best paint spreading tool around. And... Uh, See if I can't make it cover a majority of what I have to cover. Ooh, big lump. Fairly quickly. And I don't think, as in the last painting I did, I tried to make them very even, and now I just want an even layer of paint. And all this paint is just a facilitatory tool in the background to help the paint that I add on top of it flow and move more easily which I'm going to add the center section that we hope right from that dustpan that you may or may not see immediately to my right, your left. But that's a lot of black paint and that's okay. The white paint and the black paint both help other paints sell, create patterns. There is no silicone in my mix. I'm just going to put that right down over there. I might use that dustpan twice because the last painting I did that I'm going to try and imitate again in a slightly, well, I'm not going to go as far as I went the last time, I hope. We'll see what happens. I'm not all that good at <laughs> restraining myself from where I want to go when I want to go there. But um, I'm going to knock all the paint right off the edge of my spatula onto edge of the canvas and uh, since it's the end of my day right now it doesn't matter if I make a mess because I'll be cleaning up for the night shortly anyway. The sun is changing direction here majorly so it's um, I'm gonna have to learn to work earlier in the day pretty quick. It does not look like all of that paint wants to stick to that canvas but uh, I can always touch things up in my opinion. <laughs> I hope I'm always going to be right too. All right, so I'm going to knock that off. Clean my, clean my fingers for a second. Boy. I just want it done. I'll use this paint for what I had in mind a minute ago. And this paint will get spread right down the center. And I don't really care that they get a little bit mixed because they're just basically a tool for helping my chain pull do what I want it to do, even to the point of sticking my fingers in there and not caring. I'm going to sneeze. I hope I don't, but I probably will. I got a major tickle in my nose, so I'm going to apologize now just in case it happens suddenly. Be ready. All right, so what I did last time was take colors I liked and as I recall the uh, the magenta I used disappeared on me when it hit some black by accident. Hopefully right in there where that canvas is showing won't be a problem. I'd like to be a lot more random than I was the last time, but there's no, no telling how that's going to go. So random is a good thing in this case. Choosing colors that I like, obviously, and maybe even throwing a little bit of Anita's White Pearl out here because every time any color crosses the white it makes another tone. Oh that's nice. I like that. I think I'm going to want some dark turquoise. I'm not being precise. I don't think it's important at this stage. I might want some more yellow in the center. Actually it wasn't the same yellow was it? No it wasn't. Let's just go back to the one that will come out of the bottle. 
And then I want a whole bunch of gold, some blue, and this other color. And if I go too far, I'm going to have too much paint again. And fortunately, I use GAC 800 by Golden, which keeps my paint that's heavy from cracking. Okay, so this is the fu same fun thing that happened to me last time, which was um, I got some amazingly beautiful colors. I'm going to throw that neon in there, even though I really don't think that it ever winds up surviving. It's pretty right now, isn't it? <laughs> and if I could stop my camera, I would take a picture right now. I don't know what else I need in there, but probably not much right at the moment. I kind of wanted some darker turquoise, not the turquoise I just used, but the turquoise that's missing. There it is. I got it. Cool. You can tell I haven't used it if it's closed. That's very similar. So what I did last time was start to tip. And I probably don't need to tip. You know what? I'm just going to do, do what I did the last time. So I didn't use a ton of paint in my dustpan, and I, if I want to, hey, I'm done, cool. If I want to, I can scrape that out with a Princeton Artful Cabinet spatula, which I may do in a minute. And the last time I tipped this all over the place, but this time I want to just take uh, my large ball chain. This came from a set of Florida draperies. This is conventional ball chain. I sell this on my Amazon link, which is right below the video. And um, I'm just gonna try start in any old way that seems like a good idea to me. You can lift the chain up and change not just the direction, but the amount of contact makes a vast difference in the mark that you get. And I like my central panel so much that I'm not sure it's going to benefit me that much to continue on. But you see how I stopped short there and there? And then I can continue on this way and come back, pick up that lump. Oops. <laughs> I like that gold piece there. <laughs> Just got rid of it. I'm also going to twirl that around and take the residual, lift up part of the chain, and try and stop myself at some sh very, very soon point, which seems literally impossible to me at this moment in my head. But that's okay, because I haven't given up yet. So when you like your mark, you just lift your chain away. I want more of that gold that I keep annihilating. I don't want to be too conscious and aware of the marks that I make because then I won't get the same. Ooh, I like the black and the, the, the other. Yeah, I know. I lost my train of thought for a second. Sorry. Ooh, shiny. I keep thinking I can do waves or wings. I think I can do wings with this chain if I just keep trying it. So I didn't tip. 
So there's no tilting involved and no edge catchers in this. Not that there was in the last one either, but. And there are turntables on my Amazon link along with uh, canvases and everything else you could imagine for creating on list on the first list. Kind of like some of their cells. I want to be a little careful of destroying things I'm enamored of. But I'm still pretty happy and I think I'm getting close so no matter how long this takes me I'll tell you guys that if you're looking for this month's drawing you should look on the end screens. The last 20 seconds of the video will share the uh, the exhibition video with you that also tells whichever yep focus <laughs> whatever the prizes are for this month and uh, I like dripping the paint in it's not uh, it's not a Dutch pour it doesn't need to be Dutch pour if you have trouble with the, doing Dutch pours not that I've done a lot of practicing but um, that's because I haven't bothered to plug in a heat gun out here This seems to be kind of, uh, with dripping the white paint over, seems to be a little easier. I also love that you can just stop yourself right there and pick it up. Now if I'm getting too close to going past my limits, I'm not aware of it yet because I'm still having too much fun. I'm going to dip that chain in. Then I'm going to bring it right over here and use the residual. And because I want to change up some of the things that are in here, I'm going to do the same thing. I would like some sort of cohesive thing happening, but I'm not sure, flying by the seat of my pants, that I can do that. That's a neat mark. I like that mark. That's very, very neat. I'm trying not to get too crazy in certain spots. And I think I've already done it again. Alright, I'm going to grab some of that pink. I knew that fluorescent pink wouldn't last, but I was kind of hoping anyway. All right, I'm getting down to the wire. But I am learning what happens and where it happens. And I'm going to give it a little torching to relieve the bubbles that get caught in the paint when we shake it. And I do shake all my bottles. My paint pouring recipe is right under the video. And you can find PayPal and Patreon underneath the channel header. If you want to make a $10 donation to the studio, you will be automatically included in the, uh, in the monthly contest. I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I'm fascinated by what I've just done. And I've still got two minutes left. And I'm going to fully utilize this way of doing things for a while to come, I suspect, with different colors than black on the edges. Can't wait to play with gold. And uh, I can put my paint back from my dustpan back into my bottle of paint so I don't have to waste anything. I also, as I recall from my last experiment, which was also my first experiment, that I can add a few spirals to things if I feel I need to. Not that at this point I really feel like I need to. Because I think it's pretty cool. The things that didn't get affected are a good contrast for the things that did. I'm going to let that knock down over the edge and some of that camouflage the edge too. Make sure we have enough of everything. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying if you're looking for my videos go to my channel, look under playlists, look for created playlists and you will find nine lists of 100 uh, the last one not being full yet, and 
playlists by topic so that you can find chain pulls or swipes or balloon rolls and I'm slowly filling them up now that I have more a more con comprehensive um, listing bunch of playlists basically I might be touching up my edges a little bit but I don't think I'm gonna worry about it too much I'm sure there are things I forgot to tell you like please give me a thumbs up and please go ahead and binge watch if you feel like it that would be great and I'm gonna be doing something like this as a wave so now I got a set of these and they're not so different from each other that they're not gonna make a really beautiful set too do I really want to do that not really yeah I did I could almost sign my name I wonder if I could do that no don't do that now all right so uh, I have a book called because I can and we're attempting to get another one volume two out for Christmas 2019 um, 2020 is coming right up prices will be going up but like I said I sell my artwork so uh, if you want to go shopping please check out my pixels.com and find out America for canvas prints and prints of all kinds look under the video for teespring clothing with all over print designs and leggings if you click on any any one of those items there it'll bring you to the teespring and you'll have to look around for a while look for Priscilla's passion or um, there's three different stores there you'll find something cool I guarantee it I have a couple pairs of leggings and I'll never regret it and I love you guys there's over 80,000 of you thank you for the great comments thank you for helping support me um, through these hard times and uh, I hope you continue and if you are inclined to buy a piece of artwork I'm inclined to sell it to you even if I'm in love with it, I'm happy to have it have a good home. So um, my email is directly under the video. It's easpbgallery at uh, gmail.com. And you can send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I find the time. And uh, I do, I got to do it. <laughs> that spot, that spot. I'm not sure. It probably would have lived without it, but it's okay to have it too. So I'm going to torch again in a minute just to make sure there are no bubbles. I'll see you guys anon, hopefully tomorrow. Check out the community board on my channel page. Um, you'll find tomorrow's video most often. And uh, please share. I really need you guys to share. And the Facebook groups, I'm going on again. Uh, the Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for people who are learning and students. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. And Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More for people who need to do some Christmas shopping and want to find my Shop No button. I also have an Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that has all of my older art um, in albums. And there's some pretty cool stuff there worth seeing. If you want to go there, you'll have a good time. I promise you. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.